Today I'm doing a full review of the Vola Oz 22 MF. This is a left-handed S-style or Strat-style electric guitar and it's in a two-tone sunburst. It's made in Japan and these backing tracks basically played themselves. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel folks, my name's Shane. Today we're checking out this beautiful looking S-Type electric guitar, Strat style electric with some modifications and some differences which we'll get into in just a moment. A massive thanks to Vola for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it. If you wanna find out more about this, links will be in the description below. Let's check it out up close. Here's the guitar up close, we're just checking out the front aesthetically. This is absolutely beautiful, the finish on the body and on the neck are just superb. They're, it's a really, really classy instrument. On the back, it looks absolutely stunning as well. One of the things I personally love about this, as you might have seen on my unboxing video, is the fact that the neck is as fat as it is. If you're into big fat necks on a Strat style electric, you're gonna get a total kick out of this. I'll speak more about that at the end of the video. Here's the headstock up close. Now, one of the interesting things about this guitar is it has a big fat neck, so I kind of figured it might have vintage tuners, but it doesn't. It actually has string through ones and the great news is they're Goto tuners. So tuning reliability on this thing has been absolutely fantastic. You can see on the back there, it says made in Japan. Now, if you're a long-term subscriber to the channel, you'll know I like simple guitars and it doesn't get much more simple than this. We get one volume control and one tone control. Yes, <laughs> I never use tone controls on any of my guitars. I set my amp up right to begin with. Now they can come in handy, of course, but I don't personally use them. So for me, just having this three pickup combination and it's wired exactly like any other Strat type electric guitar where you get five positions here. So you get every position, bridge, middle, and neck on their own or combination of both these two and these two. And I'll show you that in this video, this bridge pickup, this humbucker doesn't split coil, but man, it's got some of the best sustain I've, I've heard on a guitar. We'll get to that in just a moment. Now, in terms of the bridge, it's a Goto. One of the cool things about this guitar, if you like to use the tremolo arm, it will actually stay in tune, pretty sweet. Now this is a bolt-on neck, and if we take a look at the back of the guitar, minus all of my fingerprints, <laughs> we also get a little bit of an extra cutaway here as well. 
just to make things a little bit easier if you want to get up here, <laughs> for whatever reason. Now while the weight of the guitars can vary from model to model and all that kind of stuff, this particular one isn't that heavy. It's about right for a Strat style electric. For those wondering where the input jack is, it's actually under here, much like a Telecast, except they've used a part that will actually be reliable. I really dig this. Firstly, a massive thanks to Vola for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. They've also given you guys a coupon code with 10% off if you choose to use it. It'll be down in the description below. All links to their websites and all that kind of stuff will be down there. And this is my first official review of one of these guitars. The unboxing video I did, I was blown away by it. I'll leave a link up in the cards here. But I should also let you know I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons and who this is for at the end of the video as well and try and keep the review as balanced as I can, even though I kind of really like this already. So <laughs> we'll get into it. And uh, yeah, if you want to find out more about this, links will be below. Here we go. Let's get into it. Today I'm plugged into my Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier with it up at gig volume. My amp is loaded with an eminent Swamp Thing speaker. And I've got the volume set to about four on the master volume. I have the amplifier mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a Sennheiser E906. So we're gonna start clean. I've got a little bit of reverb on there and that is about it. So let's try this on neck pickup. Here we go. It sounds great clean, that neck pickup. It's got the blues tone. Let's try a little bit of blues. All right, over to neck and middle pickups together. Here we go. Man, that sounds good. It's got all the snap on the top end, which sometimes some guitars don't have when you go to that position. Over to middle pickup. Now this has attitude. Yeah, all right. Well, let's go to middle and bridge now. So we're bringing in the humbucker. Take a listen to this. Yeah, when you really dig in hard, you get that back. I really dig that. Let's go over to bridge pickup now. So that's my clean channel up really loud. When I got onto the bridge pickup, it sort of lifted the overall volume. That's not unexpected being that it's a humbucker. Let's try that same clean tone and then I'm gonna click on my Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal just on one channel. We'll see what we get out of that bridge pickup. So here we go. That bridge pickup's awesome. And now the left side of the Royal Flush to add a bit of gain, this sustains like almost nothing else. Have a listen to this.
unbelievable. It's so lively. That's one side of my overdrive pedal. I usually use two sides of that. I don't need it with this guitar, especially on the bridge pickup. That sounds pretty wild. Let's go over to neck pickup. Here we go. This is with the overdrive. Let's try that with the volume control down. And all the way back up. the tone. All right, over to neck and middle quickly. And now over to middle pickup, here we go. Bridge and middle. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. A massive thanks to Volvo for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate that. I'm gonna go cover some of the pros and cons about this guitar and who it might be for and who it might not be for. So the first thing I love about this is, it's no surprise if you saw the unboxing, the neck profile is fantastic. It's a big fat neck, I love that. I've got quite large hands, so I really like having a fat neck and I really feel that just adds something to the to the overall mojo of the guitar having a slightly fatter neck for at least for what I like. So I dig that. The body finish is some of the best finish on a guitar I've ever seen. Now I had a 50th anniversary Strat from 2004, it was a Deluxe America made one. This is just as good. I think it, it's almost in, indistinguishable if you were just to feel it or look at it. it. The finish on this thing, this two-tone sunburst looks awesome. Now I've still got the plastic on the front, I haven't taken that off the pickguard yet. But I love its simplicity, just having two controls here, the volume and the tone, and then having a five-way toggle switch. The whammy bar worked well. It didn't do anything too crazy. Now, I actually misplaced the one that came with this, so I've used one off my Dan Electro back there. But it worked fine. It fits perfectly. So I don't know. The, the original one's probably slightly smaller. But anyway, it's all good. So in terms of playability and tuning stability and all of that kind of thing, it gets an A. It's not quite perfect though in terms of its playability straight you know, out of the gig bag, but it has come from overseas. So one of the small things I need to adjust is the high E saddle. It's a little bit too high. I found I was going off the fretboard sort of down for the first few times I played it, then I got used to it. So yeah, it was just a couple of spots where I feel like the action needs to come down a bit. That's easily fixed. In terms of the gig bag quality, it's unreal. Everything about this screams quality. Now, if you've also been subscribed for a long time, you'll know I own some Japanese electric guitars and I've owned a lot of them over the years. And this is in a league of its own for Strat style electrics of any brand. I haven't come across one that plays and feels better than this. This punches well above its weight. I really feel like this is something that I'm gonna keep for a very long time. So thank you, Volley. You're gonna see this coming up on a whole lot of videos. It is really something special. Um, and just the fact I could take it out and play it and it's inspiring to play, that's always a good thing too. Especially when you're around gear a lot. Sometimes you feel like, oh yeah, you know, it's okay. That's not too bad. And then you, all of a sudden you go, what is this? <laughs> like, this is great. So it far exceeded my expectations. I, I would have no hesitations in recommending these for anybody out there. I'm not just saying that. It is absolutely beautiful. But if you're not into fat neck guitars, this model might not be for you. That's one consideration. The shape might not be for everybody either. It is a little bit different. You've got that sort of pointy headstock there as well. So, you know, if you're a pure sort of traditionalist in that sense, you might not like a modern style Strat, but I really dig it. It's got enough stuff about it that's traditional and some stuff about it that's different and unique. And that's pretty cool. So I really dig this. It, 
It reminds me of a much better version of my old American Deluxe Stratocaster. So overall, I love this thing. I think it's fantastic. Thanks again for watching. If you want to find out more about this, links will be below. You can also get a discount if you choose to buy one online. And that's just on behalf of Bola. There's a coupon code down there. So thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.